What's happening, Polch Pals? Welcome back to the show. I hope you guys are having an amazing day out there. I am really excited because today we are gonna open the Celebrations Collector's Chest. Now this comes with six packs of Celebrations, two packs of regular cards, and three really awesome promos. I've also got a deluxe pin box to open up and the new Johto First Partner Packs. We're gonna open all of those up, hopefully add some pulls to the Celebrations Master Set. Now you know what I'm about to say next. The channel's on the road to 10K, so if you haven't already, drop a like, drop a sub, and let's rip into these packs. All right, let's start out with the Johto First Partner Pack. You know I gotta get these jumbo cards into the binder. Let's take a look at all three of these. This is so cool. I've really been waiting to see the jumbo cards that have that real Wizards of the Coast feel to them, you know? Look at that. We got the Tota Dial. We've got Chikorita. Very, very awesome. This card is too, too jumbo for the screen and the Cyndaquil. I cannot wait for the Kanto First Partners to show up. I did order some of those from GameStop the other night. Not sure when they'll arrive. If they show up by next Saturday, then I'll definitely open them in the next video. Let's get these into the binder. All right, all three in the binder. Got the Tota Dial, the Chikorita, and the Cyndaquil. Can't wait to get Kanto in here. Got all, all of the first partner cards. Gonna be really cool to finish that binder. All right, now the packs. Let's see which packs come in. The Johto first partner pack. Oh, we've got Sword and Shield Base and Evolving Skies. All right, Sword and Shield Base. I am still looking for the regular full art Marty. We pulled the Rainbow Rare a few videos ago. And I think I even like, kind of not predicted it, but I said I could really use a full art or a Rainbow Marnie and then bam, it popped up. So let's see what we got today. Four to the front for Sword and Shield, and we've got Fighting Energy. Let's fight our way through these packs today. Hitmonlee, Metal Saucer, Salazzle, Gossip Floor, Goldeen, Diglett. We've got Scorpy, Hoot Hoot, Drapion for our first reverse, and a non hollow Drap Lock for the rare. All right. Darula Dawn Evolving Skies pack. Now, I have a buddy of mine, Matt, over at Moral Combat Podcast. He seems to think that the Darula Dawn pack art has the best pulls. So let's see what we can get out of this one. Four to the front. Here we go. Electric Energy. We've got Vigoroth. Dream Ball. Zinnia's Resolve. C Dot. Slack Off. We've got Dweeble. Carvana. Flat Baby. Hippodon for our reverse and a Lycanroc V. All right, maybe the pulls are in the Darulodon pack artworks. Now, you know, you know, I'm not saying that's a 100% or a guarantee, but I think stuff like that is fun when you start to notice it. All right, first partner pack out of the way. Let's open up this deluxe pin box. This is one of the celebrations items that I have yet to open, but have been very excited to open because I really want this really cool little pin inside. Now, with the other, like the other collection boxes that come with one of the tribute promos in it, you're gonna get a little card here that explains level X Pokemon. You can pause that right here if you want to read this whole little, all this info about level X, it's very cool. You're also going to get, let's see here, let's get all this plastic out of the way. I just feel like I'm gonna hit the camera and everything's gonna go flying. Okay, here we go. Really, really cool Pikachu, surfing Pikachu, and when you move the top, flying Pikachu. I think this is one of the coolest pins that they've ever put out. You've got two little holders on the back, make sure it doesn't move around when you're wearing it there. And it's got a nice little uh, kind of magnet mechanism, if you can see there, that holds it in place whenever you switch the pin around. Very, very cool. Let's see this Zacian Level X promo here. That looks really, really clean. I've been really excited to get all of the extra promos that they've made. This box, along with the collector's chest, I think I'll almost have all of them. Let's drop the Zacian Level X into a sleeve. Bam. Sleeving up the Zacian, very, very cool. And four packs of celebrations one pack of Chilling Rain and one Vivid Voltage. And it looks like Chilling Rain and Vivid Voltage is the pack in every box. So 
you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the regular packs. Still looking for that rainbow rare Pikachu from Vivid Voltage. Let's see what we can pull out of this one today. Code for you for to the front. Oh, and it looks like there's already kind of some damage on these cards here. Here we go. Electric Energy, Hitmontop, Kork, I always say that one wrong. Dynamo, Clavopus, Woobat, Talo. We've got Charmander, Giraffe Rig for our reverse, and a Bay Full Art Trainer for our rare. How about that? Adding it to the Full Art Trainer page. I'm never really expecting any pulls out of the collection boxes, you know, where they just have like one pack of one set in there. That is really cool though. We got the Full Art Bay. Bam. Dropping you in the sleeve. Can we somehow pull something out of Chilling Rain also? Still looking for that Blaziken V Max or that Shadow Rider V Alt Art. Here's a code for you. And we got four to the front, and I think I have these upside down. Here we go. Metal Energy. We've got Clara. Haunter, one of my favorite Pokemons, if not my favorite all time Pokemon, Haunter, Weedle. We've got Galarian Farfetch, Cast Form, Rainy Form, Greedent for our Reverse, and a Hollow Galarian Slowking, but this is one that I needed for the binder. That is very cool. All right, four packs of celebrations. I think I'm missing about eight or nine cards. Still need that Rayquaza. We still need the Charizard. Still need the Shiny Gold Mew. Let's see what we can get out of the Zashian pin box here. Kyogre, Cosmo, we got Dialga, and a hollow Lunala in this one. Very cool. I don't, did I need the Lunala? I don't think so. There's a code for you. These celebration packs go so, so quick. Try to not just completely blast through them there. Ah, here we go. We've got Cosmog, Yvettel, Palkia, and another Lunala for the last hollow in that pack and a very miscut code card for you there, bam. We've got another Celebrations pack. Did you catch the secret uh, Pulch power up in the last video? Did you guys get some codes? Why am I opening this pack so weird? If you did get some codes, let me know. Let me know what the packs were and what you pulled out of them. I wanna help you guys fill up your decks for the TCG online game that is now on mobile. We've got Xerneas, Dialga, and Team Magma's Grodon. There we go, a hit from the classic collection. What's Grodon hiding? A Zacian V, very cool. Let's drop both of these into a sleeve. Now the Zashian V here, part of the main set of celebrations and the Team Magma's Grodon here, part of the secret set, the classic collection. Bam. All right, last pack magic, but look what they did to our pack. It's like totally bent in half. How did I not notice this when I picked this box up? This is a box from GameStop. As you can see, I also picked up two ETBs from GameStop that I got with giant slash marks in them. So hopefully getting that resolved. I'm sure this bent pack here, look at that. Watch this have something that I need inside too. We've got Cosmoem, very bent Cosmoem. We've got a Palkia and of course the Reshiram that I needed and it is completely completely bent and damaged and a professor's research. Look at that. Quality control has been really, really terrible on celebrations. Fresh out of the pack, fresh out of the box, completely destroyed Reshiram that I needed for the binder. That's a great feeling. Let's drop this destroyed Reshiram into a sleeve. Bam, I guess, a sad bam. We'll see if it'll flatten out. It might look good in the binder still. All right, main event here. We have got the Celebrations Collector's Chest. You can see the promos on the front here, and I'm the most excited about getting these promos out. So let's use our surfing slash flying Pikachu pin here, and let's rip into 
this box. Now, these boxes have been delayed by distributors. Uh, local card shops are saying that they're a little delayed. Have not seen them at any of the big box stores like Target or Walmart. I picked this one up from the Pokemon Center and I'm actually really surprised that they shipped it this fast. So I know I said in the last video I was going to open the uh, Pikachu figure box. I don't know if you can see it back there. I'm gonna open that one. I'm gonna open that one up this Saturday. This chest came in the mail a little sooner than I thought it would, and I'm really excited to get these promos out. I don't know why. So we're opening the chest first today. First of all, really, really solid. One of the coolest designs out of all of the collector's chests that they've put out there. This thing looks really, really cool on a shelf. Let's open it up. Bam, look at that. All right. I really like how they package these three promos like this. So we've got a golden, golden Pikachu 25th anniversary coin. And yeah, it's a little damaged too. Came with a scuff on it right out of the box. We've also got the Hadregion C, the Mimikyu Delta species. That Mimikyu Delta species is probably my favorite. And the Light Toxtricity. And what's cool is the Light Toxtricity all of them are, is actually, ah, let's try to take this out very gently. Bam, there we go. It's actually a hollow in the, oh, is there a swirl? No. In uh, a lot of the promo pictures for it, it's hard to tell that it is actually hollow. Light Toxtricity. Now, these aren't reprint cards like the um, Greninja Gold Star. These are sort of like a tribute card. They took Pokemon that did not exist in the era of the card mechanic and they added them to it. So you've got the Delta Species Mimikyu, you've got the Light Toxtricity, and the Level C. What am I what am I doing here? Why can I never pick up the sleeves the right direction? Here we go. Bam. Very, very, very cool. Am I out of sleeves already? No, here we go. Let's drop this into a sleeve and see what else is in this chest. So you're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six packs of celebrations, two regular packs of cards. Looks like Battle Styles and Vivid Voltage. Probably gonna be the same ones in all of the chests. Here's the code for you. Get you the contents of the collector's chest. As always, some stickers. I like that. Lots of stickers. The little tail, Pikachu's tail. Got some 25th anniversary logo stickers. Is this more stickers? This feels like another sheet of stickers. Oh, it's a giant, giant one. That's cool. And let's see. The notepad, the Pikachu notepad. I really want to use that at work for notes, but I also want to keep it nice. You know, it's hard to write on that. Here we go. And a really cool 25th anniversary mini portfolio. Let's get this giant chest out of the way. And let's see, I want to check something real quick. On the front here, if I'm looking really, really close, to me, that looked like it was saying too vivid voltage. It looks like the Orbe Orbital pack art and the Zarud pack art, but we got a Battle Styles inside. So maybe I'm wrong and it is not the same packs in all of them. Maybe they switch one of them out. Not sure. That'd be kind of cool just to give you one, a reason to open another one if you wanted to and it kind of changes it up. Code for you for Battle Styles. We are still looking for any of those Tyranitar alt arts, Metal Energy. Grumpig, Luxio, Spuda, Cacnea, Ponard, Timber, Tepig, Glammeow, Fan of Waves for our reverse, and a non hollow Clay Doll for our rare Clay Doll. One of the secret collection cards that we still need to pull from Celebrations. All right, Vivid Voltage. Another chance here at a Rainbow Pika for the front. How crazy would that be? Like I was saying, whenever I get these celebration products that have the regular packs in it, I'm really never expecting any pulls out of those regular packs. So whenever I do hit something, even if it's just a V, it's really cool. Here we go. Eevee, Woobat, Leon for our reverse, and Hollow Lugia for our rare. Right on. At least we hit one Hollow out of the regular packs. Now, looks like we got six 
unbent celebration packs here. I'm still a little sad over, what was it? Yeah, the Reshiram. Here we go. Six more packs, six more chances here. Add some cards to the binder. We've got a Cosmog, Xerneas, Dialga, and a Mew Hollow. Very cool. Let's get these cards out of the way. Code for you. Maybe a little, maybe a little last pack magic. I have heard though that the mini tins seem to have the best pull rates for the classic collection cards. Here we go. Grodon and Lugia. What's Lugia hiding? A flying Pikachu V. I have yet to pull the surfing Pikachu, which I think is kind of crazy because these Pikachu cards seem to be pretty common in here. Let's drop the flying Pikachu V into a sleeve. I do really want to have like a full binder page of all of those Pikachu cards. I think it's really cool that they made those fairly easy to pull. All right, Zekrom. We've got Cosmog, Yvettel, and a full art Pikachu. What was I saying just a second ago? They made my favorite card in the set really easy to pull. I might even run out of sleeves here. Bam, Pikachu going in a sleeve. We got three packs left from the collection chest. Let's rip into this one. I'm really excited to open that Pikachu VMAX figure next week too. We got a Reshiram, Palkia, Zekrom, and a surfing Pikachu VMAX. That flying Pikachu is just eluding me. Here is another code for you. Bam, I really love these full art uh, VMAX. Pikachu's though, and yeah, I'm out of sleeves. Okay, we're gonna have to use one of these matted celebration sleeves. Now, I don't really like these because cards don't just easily drop in there. You gotta really make sure that it's in there all the way. Here we go, two packs left. Can we add one more to the binder from the classic collection? Lugia, Zekrom, oh, we got Yvettel. One more chance for a Mew. Oh, Zamazenta V. Here's the code for you. We'll put the Zamazenta to the side. All right, last pack magic from the Celebrations Collector Chest Tin. Really excited to finish this set. Here we go. Oh, we have got Dialga, Palkia. Oh, it's a Ho-Oh, and what's Ho-Oh hiding? Oh, a professor's research, but that was a blast. I can't wait to open some more celebrations next Saturday. So as always, Polge Pals, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday, but until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in these next videos.